So today is a very weird day. Um, a big old box just arrived from Fender. Uh, as you can see, it's guitar shaped and I'm not expecting anything from them. I have no idea what is in this box. I emailed my sort of contact at Fender to see what was going on. He also did not know what was inside of this box. So yeah, this is a bit of a weird one. This doesn't happen every day. A box from Fender shows up with a guitar in it. Genuinely have no idea. The only thing I think it might be is that two years ago, you know, a long time ago, I was um, supposed to be involved with the American Pro 2 sort of launch, the launch of that whole range. And I think I was supposed to be taking a look at the Jazzmaster at the time, and the guitar just never showed up. Um, so there's a possibility that maybe this is that, but that would be weird because that was, as I said, nearly two years ago. Are we in? We're in. Okay, let's put it down on something so we can all see what it is. How's that? Can we see? We can see. So, I guess moment of truth. Figure out what's in this case. I mean, I imagine it's quite a nice guitar because of the, um, the sort of high quality case. Okay, still no clue what's inside of here. You're going to see it before I do, so. Before I show you the guitar, please do me a massive favour and go press that subscribe button. It really helps me out. Now let's see the guitar. Okay, what is it? Oh, it is! It is one of those Jazz Masters. Oh my God, <laughs> that is wild. That is wild. Why have they sent me this? That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Because these came out so long ago, I can't remember the specs or anything. All I remember is that they had a new tremolo system on. Paranormal, para, para, panorama? Paranormal, para, I can't remember. This looks to be like almost a sparkle surf green, which I didn't like the colour on the... Oh, just whacked it, headstock on the ceiling. <laughs> uh, I didn't really like the colour on pictures, but in person that is actually a really, really nice colour. What are we going to do with this guitar? What are we going to do with it? I mean, clearly they don't want like a launch video because it's already out. So we'll have a quick look at what else is in the case. It's a beautiful, beautiful case. Little patch with the trim arm and stuff, a bit of paperwork. Fender have sent me this guitar by accident, or at least forgot that they were going to send it to me and it's either been sat in a warehouse or they were out of stock of them until now. This is an, this is an interesting day for me. <laughs> one thing that does jump to mind is that I'll be able to compare it with this when this one is ready. Um, this is my sort of project cheap £150 Harley Benton that we're working on. Maybe this is going to be a nice little comparison. Maybe the stars have aligned. Thank you Fender, I guess. If you know what you're doing, maybe you don't. So I just thought we'd plug it in for a quick two minutes, get a few first impressions. One thing I will say is that out the case, intonation was spot on, as was, believe it or not, the uh, truss rod seemed just fine as well. One thing I will say is that the bridge uh, seemed to be slammed straight down to the body, so the uh, string height was basically non-existent. It's one of those things, I guess, and I, all I needed to do was raise the bridge by probably a couple of mil actually and it's much more in the ballpark that I like anyway. It's come strung with nines which are about two gauges off what I like. I think I'm gonna have to put some elevens onto this but it feels nice. It feels so silky smooth and the satin back of the neck is really nice to play but I just thought we'd get some quick tones. I'm obviously playing the Jazzmaster into my pedal board with a few dirt boxes and fuzzers and things into the Victory VC35 and then into my audio interface and Logic, uh, which is recording. So let's get a few tones. There's quite a bit going on here. Bridge, both pickups and neck with this three-way. We also can coil tap or tap the bridge pickup to get more of a vintagey sound. And then we have a sort of rhythm circuit which, put, which puts the two pickups in series like a big humbucker. Let's just go through the sounds and maybe get some dirt on as well.
So there you have it, some quick tones. I'm interested to see how I get on with getting to know this guitar and this flavour of sound. It is very different to a Telecaster or a Strat, and more than I, more so than I was expecting. I like how the bridge pickup is slightly hotter and beefier. We have so many different sounds going on here and all of them seem to have their uses. The trim arm needs tightening up, tightening up. I prefer it when it stays in place, uh, but I have to take the bridge off to do that. That being said, the trem seems nice. It seems to have quite a wide sweep. Uh, we can also lock it off so you can't pull back on it. I like that. Personally, I need to put some thicker strings on it. I'm not a nines guy. This it's actually quite feels quite hard for me to play because the strings are so thin, or thin to me at least. So I'm gonna whack some 11s on it. The stars kind of have aligned that I'm currently kind of making a jazz master style project guitar. So being able to compare this to that eventually, I think it's going to be great. Anyway, I know that this is a weird old thing to happen to anyone, so it's not lost on me how fortunate I am that a random guitar from Fender arrives at my house. Um, I've spoken to the guys at Fender and they're just like, I don't know, you know, have some fun with it. So that's what I'm going to do. Obviously, I'm going to share with you guys my thoughts on it, but that's enough for today. See you guys.